Welcome to Model Rocketry 321. This is a quick video I want to make today just to discuss this uh, project I had, um, the SR-71 Blackbird. But this is the standard one. The one I'm going to discuss today had two engines um, in the place of the one that will go here. I replaced them so they will go inside these tubes here. And this is that project right here. Missing the nose cone. <laughs> Long story. Well, anyway, this rocket um, I built years ago as a project, just an experiment. Um, I made it where it would take both engines here and the rear tubes where the real engines are. And also, I made it so that it would rear eject the parachute. So I get this in. It would rear eject the parachute. The parachute is stuffed in here. So what I had to do was I built a conduit system where when the ejection charge happened here, the gases would get pushed across and forced back down this way and push the parachute out of the back with a piston. I borrowed this little piston um, idea from uh, public missiles. They use a piston system in their um, mid and high power rockets. So I borrowed this from them. The first time the hole inside where the conduit where the gas was supposed to travel wasn't big enough and it blew this section off. As you can see right here, it blew this section off right there. But I have since repaired it and um, I've had two launches. Both have crashed. One, the parachute ripped off because the rocket is traveling at a fast speed. And um, there was no parachute, so it just nosedived, which you can see here the cone's missing because it just lawn darted into the ground. I have a spare no I have a spare SR-71 nose cone, which I'm gonna um redo this project. Which I think will be pretty cool once I get it to work. Once both thrusts happen, I get that rear ejection. It may give a little glide as it comes back down under parachute. And I will add a longer piece of Kevlar. Um, I posted photos right now. This is very short, so I think it needs more length. So I'm gonna put a longer piece of Kevlar to give it more like length to um, eject and fully let the parachute fully open. And hopefully it'll be traveling at a lower speed. So it can come on back to the ground um, successfully for a good uh, flight and a good recovery. This is the parachute. I may upgrade it to a nylon chute also. So yeah, this is um, SR-71 Blackbird. Two engines. Parachute in the main middle tube. Gases travel. Once the ejection happens, gases travel up here. And they go across and they push back. I got it to work. Just the parachute ripped off. Both times. So I'm going to put a longer... Um, Longer shot cord, Kevlar, something probably maybe a little thicker so it don't snap because I've had things break. I've had all, all sorts of things happen with rockets over the years. I've seen a lot, so that's what I'm going to do with this project. I painted these fins. Yeah, some, there's some minor details. I painted the fins white and called it Project X and things like that. I mean, it's a really nice rocket. I have, you know, another one that I like to fly. I just showed you earlier. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to make this quick video and share this project with you. And um, I'll be working on this shortly, having a couple other projects ahead of this one that I'm working on, but I will get to it and I'll write an article and, um, and hopefully put some good results and good photos and good launch photos, have it all, have it all set to go. So, once again, this is Model Rockets 321, like, share, and subscribe. Also, I'm on Instagram at Model Rockets 321 and you'll see photos of this um, launching both uh, engines at full thrust it's taking off and you'll see photos of it where it crashed into the ground so that is that thanks for uh stopping by the channel and um until the next video i'll see you again